suicide is the third leading cause of death for teenagers. But how do you tell your teenager's moodiness apart from dangerous depression? New on Live at Daybreak, our Pete Zervakis joins us live now to share some of the signs. Pete. Well, Susan, with teen suicide rates on the rise across the country, experts want to know why. Something teens are undergoing stress in today's world. They're unable to get away from cyberbullying. This morning, we've got details on how you can tell if your teen's uneasy feelings are a sign of a more serious problem. The literature says that about 20% of all teens suffer from depression at some point during those tumultuous years. I'm really sorry to tell you. The literature also says about 80% receive no mental health treatment whatsoever. So how do you tell normal teen angst apart from dangerous depression? First, duration. Has the change in behavior lasted longer than two weeks? Second, domain. Are all areas of their life being affected? And third, severity, apathy, fatigue, isolation, dropping out of activities. And my advice to parents is to listen more and talk less. And for anyone who needs help. We also, for young people today, have a national crisis text line. Text 741-741, text any word to those numbers. You're connected with a trained responder 24 hours a day. Most importantly, if you suspect something is wrong, say something right away and get help. Some other issues that could push your teen into a state of depression include problems in school, changes in friendships, and changes in families like divorce. Now, if you notice any troubling signs in your child, there are resources to help. You can call the National Suicide Prevention Line. That number is on your screen. And again, you can also text 741-741. Guys? All right, Pete, thanks for that.